Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video today, we are doing the December empties. My trash bin is so freaking full. Lola, I'm going to end you with your tippy toppies. Lola's currently here in her ugly Christmas sweater. Um, we just shot our Vlogmas intro, so we're pre-filming a little bit because we have so much to film. And I just thought maybe we'd go through our trash and show you what we have. Do you like my treat? I love that you can see the minion in the tree. Up first, we have two bags of Kinder Choco Buns. They didn't make it to Christmas like I wanted them to. They became like my editing snack. They're the ones directly from Germany. Squiggy sent a bag and Charlotte sent a bag and I don't deserve them. Those girls are like friend goals. I love them. I also used up a soap from Bath and Body Works. This is the Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. Smells like vanilla ice cream. I just buy Bath and Body Works soaps when they go on sale. I buy like a dozen and they last about two years. So, yay for that. I have a shampoo and conditioning system. This is by Dove. This is the Nutrips. Nutrips? No. Yeah. Solutions, um, nourishing oil care, shampoo and conditioner for frizzy dry hair. With the weather change, um, like this fall transition. Fall transition, I've been trying to like moisturize my hair cuticle. Don't want it to get super oily, but I am trying to like keep it as healthy as possible. And I'm just really super conscious of what's going on. Um, my hair feels like it has no volume. Excuse that, I was wearing a Santa hat all day. <laughs> Life, I washed it last night and it still looks wet. But anyway, that's a whole problem. Heat protectant this month is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Flat Iron Spray. I love this so much, I've repurchased it and I'm currently using the new bottle. This is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I love this stuff, I've started a second bottle. This will always be in my skincare routine. More shampoo, this is the Head and Shoulders Smooth and Silky 2-in-1 24-hour Frizz Control from Root to Tip. This is the pink bottle. Um, I always have a 2-in-1 shampoo for the gym. Love it. I have another one in my gym bag, like, you know. These, I have a lot of empty shampoo bottles. I just kind of cleared up the collection. I Like, anything that had like a couple of odds and ends in them, like maybe one or two uses, I just kind of dumped them. And I like, I used them obviously, but I had to empty the bottles, so I threw everything on my empties. I have not used this much shampoo and conditioner on my hair, I swear. Uh, this is Mane and Tail. I just had old bottles, and I didn't like the one liter bottles on the side of the tub, so I filled up old shampoo bottles with Mane and Tail shampoo and conditioner. And then same concept here, this is the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Duo. Um, I like this, didn't love it. I, I loved it for a while, I was on a big damage eraser kick and then it just kind of stopped, it wasn't my thing anymore. I finished up this um, Bath and Body Works soap as well. This is the Springtime and Clementines. This was my kitchen soap for a long time. Now I have a like a bakery scent going on out there. This is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. This packs a punch. This is just a tiny like deluxe sample from Sephora. It's really good. I love it. Like to the point where it's just as moisturizing as the water sleeping mask, but it's like a day-to-day -day moisturizer. You don't have to sleep with it on your face. So if you're interested, I suggest getting a sample. All right, I have this. This is not empty, but it's going in the trash. This is the Skin to Mid Skin Therapy Moisturizing Shave Gel with Vitamin E for dry skin. Not a huge fan of shave gel ever. I prefer the razors that have the bars on them, like the Chic Intuition ones, the more expensive razors, but they're just so much more convenient for like the gym and just for life. Uh, and speaking of those, I have one, two, three of them <laughs> in here, the shave, like the razor heads. I get them at Costco in like the, in the multi-pack. It's so much cheaper. You get 15 heads and the razor handle for $29.99 and 10 out of 10 recommend. Uh, this is the Purple Tree Coconut Miracle Balm. I use this on my heels, like on my feet, just to moisturize. I put this on with 
like fuzzy socks and I just let it absorb into my skin. The cotton rounds, they're self-explanatory. Another Laneige product. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Literally just reordered this, but I reordered it in a different scent, so I'm really excited to get my hands on that. Um, by the time you're watching this, I will have my hands on that, and you guys will have known about it. So I have the vanilla one on its way, and I can't wait to start using it again. It's only been like two days without it, and my lips already feel horrible. I have a Bath & Body Works Vanilla Coconut Hand Sanitizer. It is cold and flu season, so naturally I've just been like super hand sanitizing my hands. I always keep a hand sanitizer on my vanity as well. So like I'll do my hair and then I use like my hand sanitizer before I start applying any makeup. I just like my hands to be as clean as humanly possible before I touch my face. I also have a ton of disposable razors in here like <laughs> eh, that's what I take to the gym as well sometimes like if I forget my my razor with the the shaving bar on it I'll just take like I always have one of those in my bag as like an emergency razor in the event that I need one Uh, this I used up as well. This is the NYC smooth skin loose face powder. I loved this stuff um it could potentially be better than the Hourglass Mineral Veil Loose Powder. I'm currently trying the Hard Candy Loose Powder because Walmart didn't have that NYC one when I went looking. So that's not bad either. I do quite enjoy it and it works well. So I don't know which one's my favorite yet because I've only been using it sporadically, but we shall see. I'll keep you posted probably in a favorites video. And then the final thing in here is the mini Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I recently reordered this as well. For Christmas, you could get two full-size bottles from Sephora for $50. Um, so I have that. I love it. We're back to using this. I know there's drugstore options, guys. Don't come for me. I'm aware. I've talked about them before, like the Wet n Wild Matte Photo Focus one. Or there's one by Hard Candy I liked as well. But there is nothing better than the Urban Decay All Nighter, in my opinion. I like the D Slick as well, but I mean, they both equally work well. Urban Decay just has super good setting sprays and they're worth the price. And that's it. There's one more razor in the bottom of this bag, but I'm too lazy to stick my hand down there to get it. So, um, so that's it for this empties video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Um, let me know what's in your beauty trash this month. Was there like anything good that you've repurchased that was in your trash bin? I'm always curious to know. As well, I'm doing Vlogmas over my main channel, so please, my main channel, no, it feels like my main channel because it's Vlogmas, but I'm doing Vlogmas over on my vlog channel, so there'll be like a, a little link at the end of this video in the end slate for the Vlogmas playlist, so feel free to go check it out. Um, and that's it for me, so thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. I love you guys. Bye!